Now that you are taking dance classes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you learning in, in these dance classes? So right now I am learning um, Bollywood and contemporary. It, everybody keeps telling me Bollywood dance and contemporary dance. Really? Is that the general combination? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like if you want to be in the films, these are these two. I, I guess it helps you okay. because you know it sort of conditions your body to move in these particular. Right. But in these particular ways. This is my sincere appeal to all the choreographers. Please. No. Give her the toughest possible stuff. Oh my God! Thank you, Hemant. Thank you. I'll like reveal all his secrets in this interview. <laughs> Just watch. But um, no, it conditions your body to move in these particular ways that would be required of you when you're doing, you know, um, dances in Telugu movies and even Bollywood, I guess. Right. Uh, so now th this is your second film. This is the second film that you had shot in yeah. Telugu, obviously. Yeah. And the first film was Nararoy's Apatlo Kodunevadu. So from a missing a contestant to acting in a Telugu film, for a lot of people, that's like a natural progression. Mm. But I'm sure, like you said, it's a big experiment in your life. Yeah, okay. it is. So, tell us, take us through the whole journey. You know. So, um, I had just finished university and we... I Where did you study? What did you study? I studied international relations in the University of Westminster, which was in England. Okay. And um, then I moved back to India. And somebody just suggested, why don't you... I was basically doing nothing when I came back to India. I was still figuring out what I wanted to do. When was this? Um, this was, I graduated in July of 2014. Okay, last year? Yes, okay. yeah. So, um, yeah, so I was figuring out what I wanted to do. I thought, okay, maybe journalism. I was still figuring it all out. Don't, you know? don't take care of journalism. <laughs> <laughs> See, to all the journalists out there, now you know what he really thinks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was, and then somebody was like, why don't you join this pageant? And I thought, okay, it'd be fun. But then I took it seriously and I actually trained for the pageant. I trained quite hard, actually. And I went to a pageant training school in Pune. It's a pageant training school? Yeah, there's a pageant training school. It's a serious business, <laughs> Hemant. <laughs> I thought once you get selected for that, they groom you? Uh, uh, no, you have to be already prepared when you go for selection. Okay. Yeah, there's a pageant training school in uh, Pune called the Tiara. And I went there and I trained and um, it was actually kind of life changing because it puts so many things in you that you need to learn like professionalism and you know just being. What do they ask you to do or what do they tell you to do to you make you learn? School. No, then you will learn. <laughs> no, believe me the school will change you. It will change you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I went there. I trained for it. They ask you to do everything. Yeah. Like, it's an all-around thing. It's not just stand like a model or work like a model. It's not just stuff like that. It's it's just an all-round. Like what? Some public speaking. Or yeah, a lot of that. Okay. A public speaking, elocution, how to just you know handle pressure, like when you're on stage and you're being asked like these questions, right. <laughs> and um, being diplomatic, not in the fake kind of way, but uh, being diplomatic in the sense, say what you honestly feel. Just make sure that you put it in a way where nobody gets offended about it. You know, and you put it across to somebody like, that's your view, but that doesn't necessarily have to offend you because it's not um, consistent with how you look at things. So you're taught to speak like that. See, like how you're agreeing with me so much right now? No. I learned that in the pageant <laughs> school. <laughs> so you should go there. <laughs> like how women should protect themselves, right. how men should, yeah, just like in, incorporate that in your school education where kids are taught this stuff when they're younger, you know, what, uh, not just um, math and English in a school, teach them, like, this is uh, what our society is like, and, you know, this is how you have to protect yourself. 